Hey guys, this is the uh, ME26D slash U. Uh, basically, it's an HP uh, 410B. Um, you see the pictures. This was sealed up in a box. Basically, I bought two of them. I've used one for over 10 years. Uh, it works perfectly. And I just unsealed this one as the picture showed. And I'm trying to just uh, clean out my uh, ham shack a little bit. So. I'm throwing this one up for auction. I checked it against a uh, Fluke 77. Uh, used some two batteries. Powered it up slowly over about eight hours on my uh, Variac. And checked the AC voltage and everything. Seems to uh, be working just fine. Uh, comes with the uh, probe. You get the, all the all the leads are. Uh, on here and uh, they look real good. Um, there's one volt, three volt, ten volt, thirty volts, a hundred volts, three hundred volts, and a thousand. You can Google um, this box online. Comes with a manual and all the documentation. Ohms adjust, AC zero out. Um, let's see, AC in common would be red. We go to ohms times 10, ohms adjust, just adjusting the ohms down, and then I think this is right, yeah. You can see that it does deflect over. All I'm doing is just touching the, uh, touching the two leads together on it. Uh. <coughs> Lamp work showing it's powered up and everything. Uh, here's the uh, sealed box that it came in. That's the back cover and the top. Uh, here's all the documentation. Comes with a manual, a warrant, uh, warranty from the Toby Hanna Army Depot in Pennsylvania. It's got a shop tag that uh, <laughs> they took it in and restored it and. 1983 has this packing list. Here's the second one I got. Manual. Manual comes with uh, <coughs> schematics and everything. These are super cool and they're required on a lot of vintage, uh, a lot of vintage radio repairs. I'm trying to find a. Yeah. See, that's a that's a, a 410B because I have one of those also. <coughs> so it's it's by HP. It's it's in this military version. It's uh it's pretty uh pretty badass. Uh, just heavy duty all around. Even the probe, uh, unlike the uh, 410B, the probe is uh. uh pretty wicked. It's almost self-destructible. And uh, all of these that I've seen uh, are bent this way, I guess, to reach down in between stuff. Uh, I know some friends that bought a couple of these when I bought mine about 10 years ago. These two I have. Uh, theirs were bent also. So I'm, I'm uh, Pretty sure that's design intent to reach down inside of components instead of trying to do it straight like you would have to do on a uh, the RF probe on a 410B. So if you have any questions, uh, send me a message. That's it. Thanks.